Alright, so I'm about to give my review on the Red Copper Pan and complete demonstration unboxing. Before we get started, uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this. If you don't, dislike the video, or if you do like it, please like the video. Alright, so first things first, the Red Copper Pan is not really an unboxing, it's more like an unremoving plastic commercialized wrap from the pan. But, that being said, uh, here there's my old organic green pan. This is kind of in the same vein of like that blue diamond pan and the organic green pan that's in the background. And I'll do a side by side comparison one of these days on the two pans. But basically, this is a uh, I'm going to call it gimmicky, but they work. And spoiler: this red copper pan does work as advertised. It's pretty cool. But um, basically, it's just the idea of being easy to clean cookware that isn't Teflon based. So the idea is that this has a thin layer of ceramic over metal that's very high quality that makes it able to resist sticking or burning on a food. Uh, essentially to season, quote unquote, season the pan, you have to uh, smother it in oil lightly. I just use vegetable oil in a, in a paper towel just to rub it in. And you have to apparently do this once, like once or twice a year after you get the pan. So that's why I'm doing it on the organic green pan in the background also. When I got the organic green pan, I had the exact same instructions. So just lightly grease both sides of the pan. Now you're probably wondering, well, of course, after you do this, nothing's going to stick to it because it's greased. Don't worry, I completely washed the pan before I actually did the cooking in this video. So you will actually get to see what a completely cleaned red copper pan can do, whether it works as advertised. All right, so first things first, got to preheat the oven to about 300 degrees for the seasoning. I'm doing the last wipe down of oil. And you got to let it season, again I'm putting air quotes on that, for 20 minutes. Seasoning is usually something you see with like high quality cast iron cookware when it's required for that. I've never heard it required for ceramic cookware. I don't know if this is just kind of a gimmick that they do to make it seem like it's higher quality than it is. Really these pans are aluminum so they're not it's crazy expensive, they're not high quality. This one costs $20 and every other version of them also costs $20. The organic green pan, the blue diamond pan, now the red copper pan, they all cost about the same amount of money. Alright, so now after about tw quick time lapse for about 20 minutes, make sure you got your uh, oven, mi oven mitts on, take the pans on out, let them cool down to room temperature, which will take a little while, and then after that you're ready to clean them and cook with them. So I take the pan and I actually do go ahead and give it a good rinse with some light, lightly abrasive soap. And we do now have the ability to cook it. So here we go. This is a time-lapse video. Two eggs. It takes about three minutes of actual cook time. So I sped the video up so it wouldn't be overly long and, un un and unnecessarily long. And if you actually watch the video, you will see it start to bubble and eventually the egg starts to actually peel off of the pan, which indicates it's very, very non-stick. And I was able to flip it really easy. I only use... Uh, Alright, so we flip the egg, let it cook a little more, and after I feel comfortable with it, throw it on a plate and it's ready to go. Real quick quick slide and if you'll notice the pan is clean the egg is clean there's no stick there's no broken yolks it's really simple eggs look good or as good as eggs are gonna look no burn marks nothing no oil was used nothing and the pan is basically just got a couple little pieces of dried egg on there but basically you just rinse that off with water and it's done so so far I'm thinking this is a great item I would totally get I'm getting another one for father-in-law so he's gonna like it but definitely worth buying and as long as it stays up and keeps up it'll work great. I'll probably do a follow-up video in like a year after using this thing for a while to see how actually how it goes in. So thanks for watching guys.